Hey tubes, what's up? How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing in my garage today, I'm going to give you some garage door opener updates and also garage door opener updates, should I say, uh, basically. But what is going on with my garage door and the opener itself? Say if we lose power, okay and i want to open the door manually but the biggest problem is it gets stuck with the trolley being all the way down to the closed position but does anybody know how to fix that because i'm very curious on how to adjust my openers and uh doors themselves basically but let's show you what i mean uh basically pretend like the power's out and you got no way to get out basically, and you need to pull this uh, level down, okay? I pull it all the way down, opens up okay, but when it opens halfway, it basically gets stuck on top of this. And I'll bring you a little bit closer where you can kind of see what I mean. But basically, when it opens by itself, when you push the button, it opens perfectly fine. But I don't know why it stops though, but basically let's take you guys and go off the tripod and see if you can solve the issue. Because half the times I have to push up on this T-oil track and figure it out to open it. But let's show you what I mean. I don't know. Weird. Alright, here is my awesome whisper drive. It's very nice and quiet, and everything looks pretty dang good with these uh, whisper drives. But it's one thing I have noticed over the years of having these openers, uh, basically. It's not the openers themselves, it's actual when we have them installed by somebody who doesn't know what to do in the back garage door openers, basically. And that thing looks pretty good, of course, you know, got my sensor down there, that's working fine. Got the sensor over here, looking dandy, the light's on. Of course, got my wall control right there, but looking good. But the one thing is, I'm kind of confused of, is why is the door itself get stuck when you open this manually. Let me show you. We pull the um, remote release and we want to open this door if we have no power. But here's the biggest problem. I want to show you. Open it up like I normally do. That's it. How it gets stuck right there. Basically what I have to do is I have to push and this track here, this D oil track, up to open it. Is it a way to adjust it or not? I don't know. Okay, see, it also does it on this door, but it also does it on the Owen door. But maybe somebody can give me an idea of why this is doing this. It seems kind of odd for a door to do this. Okay. You can see how low my ceiling is, should I say. I don't know if it's a way I can adjust it any higher or any lower, but it keeps hitting this uh, door with this uh, bracket. And I'll show you on the other side as well. It does the exact same. This is the exact same garage door opener where the lawnmower is, but we still have the exact same problem when we have no power we need to open these manually but the problem is this door and the door over there gets stuck on that track up there but basically it's the exact same door the exact same sensor does work perfectly fine and the exact same um buttons as well you can see this is the exact same door make and model it's a very good door everybody says these are crappy doors but hey you know what not a problem with these type of doors here but you can see the tracks look pretty good 
I don't know if they're level or not. They look a little cocky to me, but you know, hey, this house is pretty old, uh, should I say. But it is one thing I want to show you with this door. It does the exact same thing the Owen door does. Okay, when we have no power, and of course here is your Moshi release, you pull this down, watch the track. See how much tension it has? I don't know if that's too tight or not very good. But here's the problem. Right over here where the mechanism is, is when this door goes up this way, it basically gets stuck. I'll show you what I mean. See there's the lift door here, and when I fully lift it up, see it gets stuck right there. I don't know why it does, but it does. Does anybody know why it gets stuck? Why I can't lift these doors up manly? Okay, it's very interesting and very odd for these doors to uh, do that. But there you go, there's the problem with these uh, openers. I think it's not just the opener itself, I think it's more because we have very low room or we had an installer did not install these proper. Because I don't know if these are actual level or not because I can't tell if they are without uh, measuring it and putting a level uh, on these to find out. Pretty interesting, but this is where it hits. It's hit heel and heel. Basically, the door comes up and stops. Because you can see the white paint. Very interesting door doors and door openers. Half power, and we basically have this all the way up this way. And these doors can basically open perfectly fine without no problems. Okay, see? Let's check the balance on these doors. Not really balanced, though, I say. But these do open nicely. Okay. And you still have some bit of a tension and some weight on these doors. But there you go, there's somewhat a bit of a balance for you. Testing the balance of the doors. Ah, uh, they look uh, pretty good. Pretty interesting little doors. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta figure out what the problem is with your garage door openers. Now basically that's the motion you release. And now let's go ahead and close the opener. So they say. Ah, you shouldn't do this, but it's okay. It latches in pretty good and it opens, but when it's closed, it gets stuck sometimes. It's very interesting. But basically, let's go ahead and open up this door for you. Give it a bit of a run test. It works perfectly good. Should I try? Okay. Opens nice. Close is nice. No problems with that. But when you open it manually, it kind of gets stuck. Like, so strange. Alright, let's go to the car side and see the same results. Here is the trolley all the way open, but notice I don't have the door attached. But basically what I'm going to show you now is I can open these doors by hand when that is all the way up. Uh, should I say. This one does the exact same. Very nice. It balanced. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty nice. And of course these doors are pretty old. But they're okay. But alright. Let's go ahead and close the open off like with the remote and basically it does the exact same you shouldn't do this but it's okay and see it does put a little bit of tension on that uh, 
track up there but uh right then but here is when i open it with the remote opens perfectly fine but sometimes you just gotta give you a guide door open or some love should i say and it closes nicely I know some of you technicians can help me to figure out how I can adjust the track. Eh, not too bad for other whisper drives. Yeah, I know. I haven't changed the light bulb yet. No, I'll get though later on. Alright, maybe you guys and girls can give me some help on figuring out why these doors get stuck on the uh, trolley itself. But, the one thing I have a bit of a trick for all my fans out there, if you have your car in your garage or in your driveway, the one little trick you can do, and I have done this in my videos before with my mom's car, is to basically just take a little towel, like a wash rag, and put over the license plate itself, for nobody can actually read what your tag is. I've done that before because Oli keeps asking, it's like, Chris, why don't you film more in your garage? Well, the reason why I don't film in my garage a whole lot, because my mom's car is in here, basically. And that's basically a very simple way. But Ted, like, your license plate is on the back of your car, but just take a, a oil towel and tuck it in and that basically will cover up your license plate. It really looks very good and nobody can tell what type of tag you have on your call. A trick for me to all my wonderful fans out there. Maybe this might help you too. But basically what's going on with the doors not open manually is because I think the issue is is the track is too low or the ceiling's too low. It should have been up high or for it to work uh, properly, but I don't think it seems to work fine. I just don't know why it gets stuck or something. Just trying to figure it out myself. But alright, if you guys and girls are subscribing to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. And do yourself a favor anytime you have a call in your garage. Drive yourself any type of towel, it does not matter. It could be any kind of white, anything. Just to keep your license plate protected. From me to you, you're welcome. Have a nice day.